what's here next? Let me check my notes. Ha! Huh, this way! Got it! Kalei, please follow me. you. Oh, right. I don't think you've been introduced to Noelle before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the night. Nice to meet you, Kale. I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too, Noelle. My name is Kale. But you already knew that. Relax, you two. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Klee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? Nope. Klee's on patrol with the other knights. Huh. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I'd heard that there was a very young knight in the ranks, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Train me? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. We're just chatting. <sighs> Don't panic, Kale. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just Amber and her friends. There's no need to be nervous. Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Amber! Ah! Sorry, I, uh... <laughs> At least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Oh no. How am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Speaking of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me! Uh, I'm saved. Sikros has given me a lead-in. Now, I just need to follow on from what she's already started talking about. Hmm. What an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there for sure. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yep, don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains, and we'll end at the city gates. You'd be very welcome to join us, but it sounds like you're pretty busy with all this. Um... No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Oh, yeah, so, um... We'll be on our way for now. <laughs> See you later. Have a safe trip back. Are you okay, Kale? Uh, 
was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Uh, so that means it was obvious. Huh. Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Sucrose. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, and hoped that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. But after trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no Amber, and I never will be. Looking back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that. Or nothing alike at all. My personality's so... <sighs> weird. I always get so anxious and I overthink everything. Aw, oh, Kali. Don't say that. <sighs> um... Sucrose? Would it be okay if I... told you a bit about my past? knew bits and pieces about her but still why did she have to go through all that uh, i'm sorry we've only just met and i'm already dumping all of this on you this is why i get so frustrated at myself i'm always doing this i get into a spiral of self-doubt and then i end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out no 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 it's fine <laughs> i'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this. People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least, I think it's kind of an honor. And, I mean, um, you've probably noticed by now, but I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in, and going on... and on... But even so... You still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things... I never would have guessed that you struggle so much. <laughs> Honestly... I feel like we're very similar people. R really Yeah. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now. I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward, I relate to that so much. Oh, and also that part about studying under a genius. In fact, before meeting you, I'd never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Oh. Um. I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything, and I'm not gonna tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just... sit here together. Sucrose has stopped talking, but for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. Maybe she's right, and we're more similar than I realized. In Sumeru, I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery, but it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... one of my test tubes? Um... Uh... 
I don't think so. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> then... Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least... Not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <clears throat> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks... sometimes. The next time I get the chance, I have to show you my tetratanic sweet flower. And my tetratanic wind bloom. Your tetra... what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Sure. Hmm, I'll try the cheese one. Aw, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. Hmm, shall we go play with them? No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. We're not what Kale needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different who's never met her before. Mm, I don't get it. Is there a difference? There is. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kale needs someone that's just not the same old me.